Okay. Then in SQL is tell the database what the data you want to access and the database software figure out exactly how to get that data. And you can write the SQL that also statement like, okay, sentence. But we use some syntax. It's a normally we write that is the sentence, the SQL statement is the sentence like, but we consider for the syntax rule. The already I mentioned the SQL language is the case sensitive for the object, data object. But the command is not case sensitive. You can write it capital letters or symbol letters. Okay, no problem. There are many type of SQL statement, but the most commonly used type statement are two types. They are data manipulation language and that is a you can now okay access your data then we use the data manipulation language you allow to retrieve add modify and delete the row show in the database okay data manipulation language other one is a data definition language you are going to create the object that mean table relationship that thing we, we call for that data definition language they allow you to create the database structure such as the table view that everything in the structure we call the data structure you can create the many table uh, make the relationship uh, uh, primary keys foreign keys okay any constraint index everything is there want to need there's a data definition language but uh, if you the developer use for this data division language but the user used to data manipulation language okay they can retrieve some data modify delete okay enter and running the sql statement okay look in the microsoft sql server management studio click new query on the toolbar and you can write the statement type the following sql statement use the north wind because if you want to write that is a use north wind mean this is the database use the database because if you have many database the computer doesn't know which table you are going to but this the customer table from the north window sorry north of okay, north wind database therefore first want to need for that is a, that database Computer identify, okay, this customer table under that North Wind database. Then you type that, okay, press the execute on that toolbar. Okay, you can serve your queries because future you can use it. Okay, you can serve a SQL statement previously enter into the query analysis as a text file. Okay, it has a, usually there's a, Already I mentioned there's a sentence are there. Statement is a sentence. Later you can load and run the SQL statement serving the file. Okay. If you every time want to execute, then you can run that file. Okay, you can serve SQL statement by select the server serve as from the file menu. In the file menu, you can serve your SQL statement. Click the serve query results button on the toolbar that is toolbar you can serve. press the control s on keyboard also you can serve your query when you do you okay when do any of these the query analysis open that serve query dialog box okay want to open let's say you serve the file as a customer select that is a extension is a sql that's a SQL. Then once you have served the file, you can open it by select open from the file menu and click the load okay, SQL script button on the toolbar and press or control chip P on the keyboard also you can open that file. Okay, open file dialog box and select that which when you do any of these the query analysis 
open the file query file dialog box then you can open that one only. let's say you open the customer select sql okay when you have opened the query file you can run it using one of the technique described earlier okay. now you can understand the data manipulation language okay as i mentioned earlier data manipulation language you can retrieve add modify and delete row store in the data table there are four type of one minute okay. then you can retrieve add modify retrieve mean you can get some rows from the data okay table or database not in the one table you can get the many uh, table use the query sql query add modify and lead the row rows show in the data table there are four type of data manipulation statement one is the select if you use the select keyword the command retrieve row from one or more table you can retrieve the rows data insert at one or more new rows the table okay in the sql <coughs> microsoft sql management studio you can run many statement okay but in the access only one statement at the time only one statement at a time in here we can select and run the many statement many line statement okay now is the update modify one or more rows in the table you can already data is there you want to modify then you can update that command and delete remove one or more row from the table okay you can delete from some rows from the table okay retrieve row from a single table you use the select statement to retrieve row from table the select statement has many forms and the simplest version allowed to you to specify list of common columns and the table name okay this is one example want to retrieve from some data in the customer table then we customers table what are the attributes here attributes what are there customer id company name contact name and address okay then we use a select okay what are the attribute want to retrieve then you can type that attribute if you all attribute you need then select asterisk mark then is the all attribute you can retrieve from particular table from customer table then uh, how many rows if you that we are close also they are if the okay select customer id company name contact address contact name address from customer table in this is the way we retrieve the all data all data in the customer table customer table okay. because here there are no where close we have the three closes are select from and where where close is not here then we retrieve the all data all data in here the column to retrieve are specify after the select keyword and the table is specify after the from keyword okay which are the table on to retrieve from which table therefore is the from is the customer table the from clause in the customer table in the customer table we are going to retrieve the one two three four attributes values attributes values then you can row. then retrieve the row from the single table if you want to retrieve the all column from a table specified as a asterisk mark immediately after the select keyword okay the structure is the select to avoid retrieve the more information than you need to rather than use it okay then if you want to need what others information want to need for the user then you can give for the particular attribute otherwise if you use the asterisk 
favored the whole attribute. For example, one table has a 15 attributes there. All 15 attributes you can prefer. Okay. Then is the select asterisk mark from customer table. Then you can see both the previous statement and this statement and compare what are the different for your prefer the data. Okay. Again, to retrieve the row from the table containing a space in its name, to place the table name is square bracket. Okay. If you have, okay, for example, the thing, if you, your table all, all, always I store, in your data object is the one word okay don't use the two word if you use the two word then you can okay use the this square bracket this as the query the sql software read this is the one word like one object like okay to rotate the row from the table contain the space in its name you place that table name in square bracket okay that's also possible like but always you better you can keep it for the one word for each okay object okay not in the object in the attribute name of the data object that's attributes tables everyone is a one word if you want to separate you can use for the underscore order underscore details that's a better thing okay you know but in other people, if you think about this order details, they think about this the wrong like, but better you use for the one word for the each object. Here we are calling for the object as the, okay, tables, attributes, everything. Okay, that's a data object. Wow, one minute. Okay, stop. Then you can use these are the one word. This is a SQL statement read as this is a one word is the square bracket. Okay. Sometimes you forget to make it that uh, space. That also okay, but you can use the square bracket. Select order details. You can also use the square bracket when you have a column with the name contains space. Column means this attribute. This is the table attribute also like okay. But you can create that your own attribute. Okay, the attribute also new attribute also. Then you can use for the square bracket if you add a space. Okay, already mentioned if you here is the one, the object is the one word. You use where close to restrict the row retrieve, okay? Retrieve by a select statement. Then you can reduce, okay? Number of rows. Then you use for the where close. For example, the following select statement use the where close to re restrict the row retrieve from the customer table. Okay, here is the the country column equal UK. Okay, only whose customer in the United Kingdom, UK. Here, select customer ID, company name, city from customers where country is UK. Okay, only customer who is from the candy, sorry, United Kingdom. Then it is display active for the only that data the next select statement used for the we are close to retrieve row okay restrict the row retrieve from the product table to okay <clears throat> the product id equal 10 okay now that's like okay select product id product name quantity per unit unit price from product table where product id is the 10 okay 10 then you can you only 50 for the particular product 
the product ID is that in product ID, product name, quantity per unit. Okay, the equal operator is not only operator. You can use where clause for other operator also. Okay, these are the operator. Equal. Okay, then equal sign. You can give the value or any string. Okay, this is the not equal. Sometimes want to avoid for particular thing, but want to get for other. Then we can use for the not equal. Okay, this is some values less than, greater than, less than or equal, greater than or equal. These are the things you can use for the operator. Now we can go there, do that. Square, square. Okay, we can do some example because some are not familiar. That okay, I copy and paste that thing, otherwise, take the time to write. Then you can do later also. Already, I have uploaded my notes also. You can do after that my lectures. Okay. Because here you can see, this is the select, this is the command. It is a symbol letter, so capital letters, no problem. But this is the important thing is the object name, column name. Okay, this is the case in city. What are the name in the table, particular table, then you can use this, that same name. That is the case in city. Okay, new query. Okay, now you see I have how many? Okay, I have two, three database. This is the cylindrical object. Okay, symbol is the database. Therefore, okay, then you can type use which database? No, win. Okay. You can see here I use a not win. Okay, what are the here name is there? That same name want to use. Then I copy select custom ID, company name, customer contact name, address from customer table. Okay, you can see what are the table is the customers. Okay. We can view this column, what are the names are there? Okay, custom ID, you see, capital C, ID also, ID also capital, like, okay, company name, capital N, the same name we use here. Okay, if you make simple. Okay, now run. Okay, now you can see it retrieve for the all data, 91 data. Okay. Now you want to put the where close. Where okay, country I think. The country. Okay, country. It also need okay. This one. Okay, we are countries UK. Now only London city is a London, then only seven data. Okay, data is ready. Data are retrieved. Okay, only seven data is retrieved. This is the way. Okay, you can restrict the number of rows. Without they are close, you retrieve from all data for the particular table. Particular table. Okay. This one. 
Next, select product ID, product name, quantity per unit, unit price from the product table, where product ID is a 10, where product ID is a 10. Okay, only one data is there. Is the product ID is 10? What is the product name? What is the unit price? Here yeah, 30. That also 30 rupees or something you can guess. This is the then, then this is the way you use the select statement. You can retrieve the data. Okay. Select this is the keyword you can see here is the blue, dark blue is the keyword command. Well, these are the object name column. Okay, first thing you see the rows here. Select okay, this here you can use the product ID is less than or equal 10. Then the product ID start 1 to 10, you can retrieve the data. Okay, therefore we use the operator. Okay, less than or equal. Less than or equal. Select. Okay, product ID. This is the not equal. Okay, other product ID not equal. Then other product you can get. Okay, this also you can. Okay, product ID is less than or equal, less than or equal. Okay, you can execute. Okay, you can see here up to 10 records because wait, Less than or equal. Okay, it's not equal. Not equal. Right. Okay, then what is the problem? Now you can see here. Without 10, already I mentioned here, is the 78 records are there. Now you can see there are no 10. Other products are there, but 10 is not there. Here. 10 is not here. This is okay. Then not equal. Okay, then greater than equal. You can check every. Greater than or equal. Then you can see. See, okay, 10 to up to end of that 78 or 79. 1 to 9 not there. 1 to 9 not there. Then this is the already you study for the SQL statement. Okay, in the same step first one database design. Okay. Then this is the structure. Is the three close are there? Select if you retrieve the data. Only retrieve the data. Select from and where close. The select is the which attribute want to retrieve. What are the attribute want to retrieve? Then you can put here the attributes from which table. Okay, in here only one table. You can make if you many table. You can make the many table. Okay. You can put the comma and use the other table also. Okay, sometimes you want to retrieve from not in the only one table more than one table. Therefore, you can use here in the from is the what are the table uh, the data from which table. Okay, which are the table. Here is a way across you can limit it your retrieve rows. Okay, particular draws want to retrieve. Therefore, we use the 
we are close without we are close you take the whole data okay you want to be a little far go past this is the only you study there for I refresh okay some performing the pattern matching you use the like operator in the way are close to perform the pattern matching okay sometimes we don't know the actual name or actual value okay in the string then we can use for the like operator like keyword okay if you use only okay you think about i forget the if you only one character for the match then you can use for the underscore for example matching any one character from example okay j o j o j e oh okay any letters then here is say any letters a to z okay any letters matching only one letter then you can use for underscore okay here matching any number of characters many characters you can use for the underscore okay north mean or south mean okay we don't know what are the mean north mean or south mean then yeah. okay <laughs> any letter number of letter but in with the win okay in with the win the particular string in with the win but we don't know starting what are the okay now here if you use beginning and end beginning and end okay then you can specify one or more wildcard character used to your pattern matching string okay here in the like operator you use for the pattern matching in the string only okay string <laughs> number also you can use it is but that also string tag here is the if you fire is the middle of that bird but beginning and ending also any other character okay star fire okay zero character okay this is the any number of character if you square bracket use you square bracket match any one character in the brackets only one character okay. only one character in the <coughs> thing here you can see s comma m s m any character c o m any character is matching or not okay here is a not match if you use this character operator is the this character is the not match match any one character not in the bracket here is the not in the a character match for without a any character want to match okay that's the one character is not in the bracket for example a match any character except Oh, yeah. okay next this you can give the range match the range of the character okay you can the a to c a to c it include a b c or oh, a to f that include a a to f from a to f then you can otherwise you want to type for the a b c d e f a b c d e f then you can forget that one if you continuously you only need some character then you can use for the this hyphen okay this dash here number of the has key the number of any one number match any one number for example a okay a one two through a nine this is the if you has key is the number any number of character okay for example now you want to check your who are <coughs> some mobile phone that's a s6 x7 iphone s9 that's like you want to s and any character you can put there's a hash key then you can search for the other people by that phone 
okay but if you look then you can use it that is a yes okay this is a pattern matching okay only string we are using this pattern matching okay this also sometime want to to keep sometime you forget some word or letter then you can use it okay wild card character is giving here the performing pattern match let's take look at some example that used on the wild card character from select statement use the like operator to see the product where product column is the ch okay cha we don't know other letters a to z like okay then you can to see some data okay ch a but other letter b okay then you can use here select product id product name from product table where product name like okay actually you know that this is a product id product, product name equal cha set or chab already actually you know that name but if you doubt is there you can use the like keyword like keyword. okay like keyword okay i can put that all thing we can do it again okay second one the next select statement used for the like operator the product where product name column in like cha percentage mark. the percentage mark mean any number of character sometimes no characters matching or any number of character but here is the it should be much for one character is the underscore underscore is the much one character but here if you use any number of character means zero or more but here one character is the underscore if you use the underscore okay the same thing we will do it like next select statement use like operator to product where product name column is say abc start with the abc or any other character okay start with the a b a o b o c and number of character not start with the a b c not start with the a b c okay they are the case and city capital a o b o c okay start with the a to e okay start with the a to e okay one by one we can do it now you can see c h i is there product id and product name some product is there c h i only one letter one letter okay number of many characters now you can see c h i c h i n g or this then now three products are there i will start with the c h a any number of character any number of character now you see okay start with the capital a o b o c a o b o c so the same thing wait <laughs> copy okay start with the a o b o c a to t for how many 12 record okay start with the a o b o c capital a o b o c okay not start with not start with <coughs> out of 12 we can get the other start with the e okay d there are i think there are no 
D start with any product with the D. Then here. Sixty-seven. Now, next one is the range A to E. A to E range. A to E. Okay, because we don't know actual characters, actual name. Then you can use for the like keyword, like keyword in the where close. Okay, if you know the actual, okay, Alice mutton like, then you can use where product name equal double quotation. You can put that is the name. Okay. <coughs> now. Okay, specify the a list of values. You use the in operator in where clause to retrieve the row which column that contain value in the specific okay specified list. Okay, for example, the following select statement used in the in operator product ID in the many character up to one, two, five, fifteen, twenty, forty-five. Or 50, then in character you can use again. Otherwise, you want to make for the product ID equal one or product ID equal two or product ID equal five or, or that's like you can instead of the or you can use for the in keyword. In there are one, two, five, 15, 20, 45, 50 is the same attribute name then you can use in here yeah. okay otherwise you want to type here product id equal one or product id equal two or product id equal five or product id equal 15 that's like you can do continue like or okay instead of all you can use for in and you can use here is the comma then you can get one two three four five six seven seven data seven rows here another example display the order id column from the order table for the row we are the column custom id column is in the list retrieved by the subquery the subquery retrieve the custom id column from the customer table where company name is like this select order id from order we are customer ID in. Okay, we want to get the many row. Therefore, in use the in. Select customer ID from customer. Okay, the particular customer company name, like a particular company name, order for that some order. That's why if you any character. Okay, they can make many order. One company can make many order. Therefore, it's a many we are custom id in okay the company name from the customer we are company name this like okay this also we can use it select product id Okay, one, two, five, fifteen, there's seven data. Okay, then you can use for the in where product ID is in. Next one is the sub queries that also we use for the in because we see the many data. Therefore, here we are using in. In here we get the many. Okay, we got this eight record order ID as eight order particular company 
if you start with F U, many companies there, not in the one company, many companies. Okay, and now you want to need for the company name, then also you can get it. Custom ID, what ID? Is the order ID. Don't mm, get from that is the company. Select order ID from order table. Okay, we are custom ID in. Custom. Mm. Now we cannot get because the customer in the customer table. Okay, because the customer ID in the customer table. There are no link for the customer name. Okay. Okay, list of value you can get. Specify the range of the values. Okay, you use the between operator. Is the 1 and 12, between 1 and 12. Okay, range, the way are close. Product with the product ID between 1 and 12. Then 1 to 12, between 1 and 12. Between 1 and 12 is the Go to, go to 12. Now you can see here another example. Okay, some data order date between particular range. Okay, want to need the order from January to June, six month order. Then you can use order date is between 2020 01 January 1st to June. 30th, then you can use that order. Okay, then we use for the where order date with B. Here, where product ID with B. Okay, between what the product ID you can get. Okay, 1 to 10, 12, sorry, 12. You can get the between 1 to 12. 1 to 12 order product. Okay, that's a range. Okay, this is the date. Date of the order. Okay, only four orders are there. Between this day. Okay, only four days. Only four orders that's the way you can retrieve the data okay this is the retrieve the data for you okay the now are the meaning operator you can mean you use the not keyword operator is not use that not between okay not in between mean the reverse meaning okay not between 1 to 12 mean out of that 12 you can use to up to n not 12 13 to end of the product id that's a not between okay here not between 1 and 12 then you can get that product is 13 to end of that data okay can use not keyword to reserve, okay, reserve, reverse or other operator, not like, not in. That like also you can use, not like, not like this, not in particular. Okay, repeat the row with the column set to null. A null value is different from the blank, zero, okay, string or zero. Okay, so null is the unknown value we do. Okay, keep it that null. Okay. Keep it that null is the unknown value. A null value 
represent a value that hasn't been set. Okay, for example, example, if you in your anything, some uh, user or some people, okay, unlike to give some data. Okay, some people, okay, some are unlike to give some data. Therefore, you can make for that's a null value. Is the null value is the blank string or zero? That's not empty. It's the unknown line. If we use that's a null value. Okay, for example, some people are unlike to give for date of birth. Okay, they some people, other people know their age or something. Therefore, they are some people are unlike to give for their salary. Okay, then you can guess it for the null. Okay. You can use for the is null operator is where close to determine the column contain the null value. Then you can use for the is null. For example, the following select statement used for the is null operator to retrieve the customer where the fax column contain is a null value. Okay, some customer have a fax number. Okay, is the null. Okay, some people are unlike to give for some purpose before telephone number because always some are disturbing they are misused also they are unlike to give for the telephone number then you can keep it for the null here is the select customer id company name from fax from customer table customers they are fax is null okay which customer give for the null in the fax number Specify the multiple condition and okay, then is the or or not A and B. Okay, we want to satisfy the both. Okay, is the both A and B, it is the condition, it's the way of course we are using the condition. It is satisfy A and B are true, then you can execute. Okay, value with the true when A and B both are true. A or B, any one is true, is you can get the retrieve the data. A or B, okay, satisfy one of the condition. A or B. So both also true, okay, no problem, but at this one, not a value with two, if the false, if you false, it's a true, okay, this is the conditional operator. You can use the logical operator, this is the logical operator, so in the table below, specify multiple condition in the way of close. Okay, for example, the following statement, okay, select statement used for the AND operator in return, okay. Well, you need, okay, you need in stock column is less than 10 and reorder level is the equal to 20. Okay, then you want to reorder or something. Select product ID, product name, you need in stock reorder level. Okay, if you some shop, they keep it some goods. Okay, the goods level, okay, order in unique in stock is 10 is there, okay, only 10 items are there. Okay, or, oh, and the reorder level also more than 20, then it is satisfied, we want to order for particular goods, we want to get from that shop. Therefore, we make the condition two. Unique, unit in stock, Less than 10, the item is less than 10 is there, and the order level also less than or equal 10, 20. Then satisfy both, then you can reorder order for that particular thing. So out of stock, or you can keep it like that, sir. Then you can do it. Okay, that's the thing. Specify multiple condition in the next example. Select the statement used for or operator. Okay. This is the or mean. If you satisfy one, if the unit stock is less than 10, if you want to order for that particular goods, 
or pre-order level is less than or equal 20 also x is a not operator okay select product id product name unit stock pre-order level from product they are not unit stock less than 10 okay the unit stock not less than 10 more than like want to do something get that data okay that's a not shorting rows okay some purpose we want to show your rows then you can use for the order by close to short row three from the order by okay usually is or use the order by default is the ascending order okay but if for the design be easy then you had to use the design order okay you specify the column or columns to store in the order by close by default row are stored in ascending order okay don't forget it's the ascending order for example the following select statement order the row use the product name column okay select product id product name unit stock pre-order level from product order by product name okay then we start to a to set okay order for a to set that's a default thing default is the ascending order okay if you use this is the product name as the product name is the string if sometime is the number is there that also minimum to maximum order like is the ascending order you can explicitly state in order for column using the ASC is the ascending DESC is the descending order okay the default is there not necessary to mention as order by is the ascending order this one you want to do the descending order column is that you want to use for the product order by product name d e s c is the descending order that's a set to a z to z to a that's the descending order okay now is the descending order column descending order large item in first okay i also not do this practical also you can do it later okay this yes see that's all you can specify the multiple column in order by close okay here multiple multiple select product id product name unit stock pre-order level from product to order by unit stock first order by descending order after that Descending order, then pre-order level is ascending order. High, okay, minimum to high, minimum to high. Then three to column also you can order. Okay, this is the descending order. Z to A, unit stock. Okay, unit in stock is the Z to A. Sorry, unit in stock mean this is a value. Maximum to minimum. That's the value, but other maximum values there is so that product minimum is low. Then no pre-order level also ascending order is a minimum to maximum. This is the maximum to minimum. This is the maximum to minimum. This is the minimum to maximum ascending order. Let's see the top n rows. Okay, that also you can keep it that how many rows want to retrieve the top 10 rows to retrieve the product id in the 10 top product id select top 10 product id product name unit stock pre-order level from product order by product id okay the top 10 product id you can retrieve then okay i have also used optional order by close in this example select statement order the row by product id column okay eliminating duplicate rows 
Okay, sometimes you can get many duplicate me for order. Okay, then you can use the district keyword to eliminate. Okay, district keyword to eliminate the duplicate mode. Okay, for example, you are going to see the many exam. Okay, many model you are doing the seven model in semester. Okay, then if you want to get your name, then every course model you register. Okay, control model. Then we want to get for the unique. Then you can we can use for the this. Otherwise, you uh, seven models you register. So now you are following, then you, your name is in the all, then you use the district keyword to eliminate the duplicate. Now you can see here, for example, the following select statement, use the district country column value from the customer table. Okay, how many countries order for particular, okay, how many countries customers are in the table? How many countries, okay. We are asking how many countries are country customers are in the order. Okay, so particular for example in Sri Lanka, many customers are in the table. Okay, but the country is one Sri Lanka. Then you can here you can use select district country from customer. Okay, select country from customer. Okay, so what are the different for this one? Okay, with district and without district, what are the different? Okay, I use select district country from customer. Okay, then if you run, we can get for the how many countries? 21 countries. Okay, the customer, 21 customer from 21 countries. Okay, but the one country has many customers. Okay, I delete this district. Okay, that country is repeat for okay. How many customers are there? Here, because here we have 91 rows. Okay, some countries are repeated. There are 22 customer countries, but now is the 91 rows are there because here is a Germany again repeat. Duplicates. You want to know how many countries customers are there? How many countries customers are there? Or customers from how many countries? In another way. Then here you can see here without district, we use this one. Okay, we 91. It is avoid to the, okay. for example, some items items are sales here then how many product item type of product item sale today because many customer buy for the shop okay usually we are using every day in the shop then we are they are going to buy the shop or washing powder something like that sell or rice thing daily we are using like that then we Want to use for the district, this avoid for the duplicate. Here you see Mexico, Mexico. If you use that, then this avoid for that duplicate. Okay, only 21 customer countries are there. 21 countries customer from that table. There are no duplicate, you can see. It's the unique. Okay, then you will use the district. Avoid to the duplicate some situation or do need that. Then you can use for the district. Okay. Combine retrieve the row from the select state. Okay. Combine rows. You use the union operator to combine retrieve the row. Okay, to table you can combine to get the okay. For example, the following statement. Okay, we use the union of it to combine the tree row from select statement that retrieve from the product table. The first retrieve row where the product ID is less than or equal five and 
second retrieve the raw product name start with the Q U E S O. Okay, now you can see. Okay, compile for the junior. Intersection is the common thing. If you compile mean, okay, or like, okay, product is product product ID is the less than or equal five, and product name is the this line. Both will come here. Okay, you can see. That's all. Okay, one to five. Product ID less than or equal five. And that like we can get. Other one is the start with the Q, the product name is the this like O. There's a union mean O. Union mean O. Okay, retrieve the row in the block. Use the group by close to, okay. Divide the three row into the blocks. Okay, you can think of the block as a group. Okay, someday you want to, now the university is there, we want to, you are in our IT program, there are three types of programs there, we want to categorize, divide for the students, for the three fields. Then we can group by fields. Some are multimedia, network software. Then we can retrieve the data from the group by. Okay, then here, for example, let's say you group the, the supply ID column of the row from the product tables. You would get one row from every row that had the same supply ID column values. Now here is the group by the supply ID. Select supply ID from product, group by supply ID. Select by group by supply ID. Okay, then this line you can use this group. For example, we have to tell you a data from student table. Okay, there's a all name, everything from student table, group by course or fields. What are the course you register? Then we can retrieve that link. Okay, you can do it. You can see the group by the supply ID. The product from product table, group by the supply ID. Okay, 29 rows are there. It is a group by. Okay, product also you can use. Oh, that's a supplier. Make many product order. Many, okay, supply many product. It is impossible to get. Again, Supply many product one supply. Okay, later I will show some other example. Okay, this also count how many rows are there. This select statement display one row for the each group that they are the same supply ID column value. You can get the number of row in each block using the count function. Okay. Then we want to count is the one of the function that count built into the SQL server. Okay, it's known as the aggregate function because it can <coughs> operate on the more than one row at the time. Okay, it's a count that I mean the particular the how many record then we can use the count okay select supply id count and from product group by supply then how many is there 
Now, okay, that's an area. Okay, restrict the, okay, retrieve the group of row. That's a, you, okay, you use the having rows to, okay, restrict the group of row, retrieve by the group by rows. Okay, the having also you add to all together, use for the group by. If you have the group by, you can use for the having. Okay, the having is the some values. Okay, for example, the following select statement, use the having clause, restrict the group of row, okay? Return to the, those that have more than four rows in the each group. Okay, each group. Here select supply ID, count is there. From product group by supplier ID, having count. Okay, without group by, you cannot use for the having. Okay, this here is the having also. You can use count as a value, having count as more than four. Okay, particular supplier supply more than four product. Then you can get here. Okay, previous, how many is there? Sorry. Okay, 29 rows are there, supply ID, 29 rows are there. Now we some restriction there. Okay, select supplier. Then they supply more than four product. More than four product. Then you can hear how many supply you can find. Okay, only three supplier supply more than four product. Okay, more than four product because one supplier supply more product. Okay, now you can put here is a little less two, more than two product. Some 16 customer supplier supply more than two product. If you one product, more than one product. 26 supplier. Previous 29. More than zero as a all supplier. <laughs> all supplier. Is a 29. Okay, in the supplier also you can group by they are having close. Okay, group by supplier, one supplier supply many product. Therefore, how many suppliers supply for particular company? For example, here in uh, Unitech also, we only need some goods, stationery, everything, then we keep it some supplier details. Then we calculate oh, how many suppliers are there. But one supplier sometimes supply many items, not in the one item product. Okay, I will give five, ten minutes break, five minutes break. We'll continue. I will finish 11.30 or 12, like, yes. Okay, I will give five minutes, five minutes break. You also boring life sometimes, is there? Uh, I think this is the only basic I had a refresh. Uh, Next class we can start for the piece scale. That is important for our model. Okay. Then but some already you study, but anyway I had to refresh for the thing. Mm, because if the database programming is the scale is there, but some development also going on, but the statement. If you carefully study and uh, write, because the old statements are in the double quotation. Okay, usually, use for the double quotation, we don't know what other errors there. If you run the program after that, we saw, okay, this is not particular object, not there, something is happened. Like Therefore, we careful to write for the statement inside. That the statement as a string. 
ഇത് ഡേറ്റാബേസ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ഡിസ്പ്ലേ to when you need to display the more friendly name or descriptive name for the column okay sometimes you want to use for the actual name but it sometimes is uh, that name is long then you can use short name also then we use for the as keyword for example the following statement used for the as clause to set the display name of the product name column product and unit price column to price for each unit okay now you can see here you can <coughs> also use for the as clause to analyze the table also column or table you might want to do this this is your table name or uh, log the following example you can use here is as a select cust dot customize okay here we are using custom as a cust order as a ord order as a ord as keyword here as keyword this is the aliasing this is the aliasing sometimes you create the new attribute then you can use uh, like you want to add some um, values then you can use some okay it is a sum of that so uh, sales some for unit price or some for sales like then you can use as as a total sold or total sales then you can create that new attribute name then you can use as keyword as keyword here is the cust dot customer id cus because we are using the customer table as a cus short name then you will use for the as keyword this is like Okay. Now we use combine the two table. Okay, we are taking some data from two table. Therefore, we are using here select cust dot custom ID, company name, address, order ID, ship address from customer as a customer order as a ORD. Cust we are customer dot custom ID equal order dot custom ID. okay anyway this custom id this retrieve that data from custom id from customer table not in the order table we have the cust dot custom id the computer confused this custom id we have to retrieve but you are use for the two table here here retrieve from that particular data from two table not in the one table here is the custom and order custom also has a custom id order also has a custom id but the computer confused we have to retrieve the data here is a cust dot custom id is the this cust that data are retrieved from the customer table okay then is check for here order cust dot custom id equal order dot custom id and customer dot cust dot custom id is like okay that the condition also check from the customer table this is a al fki alfi okay then that also we can use for the alias otherwise you you want to use the full name without this alias is here customers dot custom id without cus this is a directly we can use customer dot custom id here also customer dot custom id equal orders dot order id okay you can show some names are sometimes a long then you use for the aliasing in performing the computation based on the column values you typically use calculate okay field to perform computation based on the column values okay for example you might want to use the calculate field to compute the effect 
of increasing the unit price column of the product table by 20 percentage 20 percent want to increase the select statement show this like select unit price into 1.20 okay then you can use now is the unit price into 1.2 as a new column you can use as a new price as also you can use okay from product table we are product ID is the one only increase for the, that particular product for 20 percentage increase therefore 1.2 okay already 100 percent the actual unit price is there you want to increase the 20 percent therefore 1.2 you multiply 1.2 okay then you increase that perform the computation based on the column value the next example concatenate the contact name and contact title okay then you can use here is the okay compile now you can select contact name plus on the space uh, sorry comma plus contact title this has a one attribute now some example you want to make okay you have the first name last name middle name last name like okay first name middle name last name then we want to get for full name three columns are there but we only need for the full name therefore we can use here that like first name plus we want to don't use for the comma space because we want to keep it separate for the first name middle name and last name therefore okay therefore you can use here first name plus okay in better car that single quotation space you can give the one space plus middle name again plus mark then double quotation with the, with the space plus last name from student table okay we are that student fields are or fields in the multimedia only multimedia student full name we only need then we can get that like okay you can combine two attribute also therefore we use this like okay that also retrieve the row from the multiple table okay you will often need to retrieve row from multiple table using the same select statement okay then multiple table the row then you can use here customer dot custom id we are retrieved from the customer and order table from customer comma order table two table get some data okay the from close we use the two table select customer dot custom id this custom id from the customer table company name address order id chip address from customers comma orders where customer dot custom id equal order dot custom id this is the common attribute the relationship what you need then you use the where clause and customer dot custom id as a display <coughs> okay particular customer how many orders are there? Order IDs we want to find. Order, what are the orders? Are there? Notice that customer and orders table are specified after the from keyword, and because both table contain the column name as a customer ID, the table name is placed before each reference to the respective column in each table. Okay, that's a joining two table. It's going to join the table join is done on the customer id column okay common attributes there you can join for the two column. sorry two table if you have the common attributes there in the both table then you can make the relationship also okay one table place has a foreign key uh, other table has a primary key so parents and child table you can make relationship
okay 50 row from multiple table for a previous select statement used for SQL standard format in joining table okay there's a joining table with the SQL server you can you also use for the join keyword also and that is a from <coughs> keyword you can join here we are using join here select customer customer id from then from the customer join order on that okay without the way are close you can use from customer joint order on customer dot customer id equal order dot order id and customer this like without where clause you can use join keyword here this line okay from customers join orders on which column on the joint therefore you can mention here columns sorry, customers dot customer id equal orders dot customer id and customer dot customer id equal okay lp Okay, let you row from multiple table continuous. The disadvantage of the previous two select statement is that then okay they return row only where the join column both contain the value. Okay, that is the neither column contain a null value also. Okay, this can be problem if you have row that has a null value in the either of the column use in the joint and use need to actually retrieve for the those rows then we are to use for the fully joint also outer joint solve this problem we want to use for the outer joint there are three type of joint left outer joint right outer joint and okay outer, outer joint and full outer joint okay then we are using if some null values there we had to use for the full outer joint full outer joint if it left outer joint is the left side is null values there display the whole line okay item right outer joint in the outside uh, right side table has null value is column is show that okay use the join statement first of all the insert into the add so, Row product table. Okay, insert into. Okay, you can insert some rows. Then you use for the insert into product. Okay, insert into product with table. Insert into this the table name. What are the attribute you want to add? Okay, value on that which attribute and values. That's it. okay. But if you insert into product without this attribute. You had to give the all values. For example, in the product table, how many in the product table? Okay, in the products, product table, how many attributes are there? You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9 10 there are 10 attribute then if you insert into products insert into products then without attribute name okay this is the optional without this app attribute name is the values you had to provide the 10 values here 10 values here if you give the attribute only okay this value for this product name is a dvd player supply id is an null others are unknown other attributes are unknown there's an null okay this is the way if you mention here only the value related for okay to here belong for this one Product name, the DVD player belong for truck name. Is the null list belong to supply ID? Okay, that's an insert mean you add the row, insert into product. Product table, you are going to add one rows in the product table. Product table, these are the 
Okay, these are the attributes. Already I mentioned there are 10 attributes there. Yeah. 10 attributes. Yeah. Then you had to give, if you without that attribute name, you had to provide 10 values in order. Okay, in the order. Okay. You don't need to specify the product ID column because SQL Server will automatically supply the value using the identity. Okay, product ID is the uh, auto number. This identity was established when the product table was created and its identity generate the series of the values start with, okay, increase by one. With one and increase by one, it's a, each time is used. Okay, then how to set that identity? Okay, in the <coughs> auto number. Okay, auto number. If you okay, open the design, design, design. Okay, select this one. You can go to the properties. This is the product ID. In the product ID, Let's select the Twitter, it's identity is there. It's the identity specification. Okay, particular select the particular column. Use use the identity specification. It's yes. Okay, it's yes. Okay, if you know it is not there, okay, it is automatically in this one by one. Okay, but that is an integer type is also need. Right. Okay, it is a is either is yes. Okay, if you know it's a not it is an auto number. You want to put the auto number, you select the particular attribute. And go to that properties, column properties, identity specification. Okay, is identity is yes. Then is number is identity increase, increment is the one by one. Sometimes you want to increase the five. Okay, first number is five, second 10, 20, 15, 20, sorry, 20, 25. Like that also possible. You can put that way. Okay. For example, uh, now want to put the C drive and uh, sorry, uh, house number is the left side is the odd number, right side is the even number. Then you want to make that like, then you can put the identity is the increase by two. Is the right side table is there? Then want to add one house on the add the two number. Okay, increase increment is two. Like you can make there's an increment. Okay, I did increment and I did this three. This is star. Okay, this is the auto number. In the access, there are a column is there. There is a field is there, auto number. You can set that auto number. In here, this is the way you can or okay, you can see here is the yes. Now you you use the product name, not this ID. Identity is no. You can see here, identity is no. Is not auto number. Unique stock. I did not. Unique order level. It's an integer. It's an identity. Is but here is an identity. Is yes. Uh, okay, we can see other table. What other table? Product audit person. Right click design. Open that. Now you can see. Now I, the person ID is there. Okay, then it is no. If you want, you can make yes. It's the auto number. What is increment? Okay, this is the way you can make it. Then automatically come for that number. Don't put okay. Don't assign any value. That's auto number. Use of the union statement. 
you will notice that the supply ID column in the insert statement is null. If you now perform the following statement, you will not, okay, you will not see the new row because supply ID column of the new row is null and join will not return that row. Okay, because you have to give for the supply ID also because if you have product is there, particular product supply by particular supplier. Without supplier, you cannot get the product. Therefore, product name is there, then particular supplier is need. Then you have to provide that supplier ID also. Okay. To see new row, you will left join in the select statement. You retrieve the old row from the table on the left. Okay, you can use for the join, what are the left join and <coughs> right joined also. What is the re reference are there? What is the reference? Okay, <coughs> difference are there, you can see it. Okay, now I am going to stop now. You can continue for the next class. Mm, the, now I got that uh, license version, the Zoom. You can continue without interrupt, okay, without interrupt. Now it's a new ID already, I sent that same ID and same password you can use for the visual programming and this one, but anyway, every week I will send for my schedule. Okay, students, you can practice any problems there, extra you can ask. Now also you can discuss we have any problem? I don't know when we start for the uh, university face to face. Okay, if you do the face to face, it's a better. Now is the only basic is going on. If you start that things very difficult. A lot of students, the previous batch also, a lot of students are struggling like small small mistake also they are. They cannot uh, correct it. That's the way is the problem. Anyway, we had. <laughs> No way to know any choice. Okay. For oh, to only this the way. But anyway, you also do that. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now I am stop leaving. Okay, class is over.